Hi, welcome to Spring Ford's Cheerleader of the Week, sponsored by Main Street Cafe. I'm Gianna Greco, here with Taylor Williams. Welcome, <laughs> thanks for being with us. So Taylor, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, how long have you been cheerleading? Uh, since seventh grade. Since seventh grade, well, long time. Um, and you're a, a junior now, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, is this your first year cheering for varsity cheerleading? Yeah. Yes. So ninth and tenth grade, you were on JV. Mm -hmm. And did you do winter cheerleading too? Yeah, ninth grade I did winter, and then 10th I did fall and winter. Oh, so you, you've been doing everything. So you got it all on lockdown. Yeah. Um, do you like to cheer better for football or for basketball? Um, probably football. And why? <laughs> you stand up the whole time, so you're not just like sitting down, so you get to see the whole view of it. So it's more interesting? Yeah. Yeah, more interesting. And you have more cheers for football, right? Yeah. Yeah, so what's your favorite cheer? Um, probably the Ram beat. Yeah, yeah. everybody <laughs> always says that. I mean, it's a good one, but I don't know why. I'm like, what are the other cheers? I have no idea. <laughs> um, so what stunning position are you? Do you stun or do you not stun? Um, well, last year I flew, but this year I base, and if they need me, I can fly. So what's it like to fly? Like, what is that? <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking, but it's fun. It's nerve-wracking. I don't yeah. think I would be able to do that ever. <laughs> I mean... You just have know. to have really good balance. But then when you're a base, it's a lot of like more upper body strength. Yeah. Well, you actually have to use your legs more than your upper body. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's like Never the key to basing. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so you're only a junior now, but like obviously you're thinking about college a little bit. Would you want to cheer when you go to college or no? Um, probably not. It's just for fun right now, so I'm not going to. So you don't want to get serious about no. it? No. <laughs> so have you ever cheered outside of school or no. Um, no. No. And you do the competition team, right, at yes. school? Yes. So tell us about that. Like, what does that entail? Um, well, this year we're only going to do local competitions. So last year they went to nationals, which we're not going to – they went to Florida. Oh. But we're not doing that this year. Okay. And that's just, like, no reason why you're just not doing it? <laughs> um, there's just not enough people doing it. Oh, okay. Okay. So you need a big group to go to nationals and yeah. to win. Did they place last year or no? Um, I forget what place they got, but I know that they did really well. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, now, can you tell us about your favorite cheer memory, like, ever? <laughs> um, probably just cheer camp in general. Last year, it was really fun. So, what is cheer camp? What do you do at cheer camp? <laughs> well, literally, like, the movies. Like, we stand around, do cheers, and then we learn new things and new techniques, and it's, it's fun. Yeah. Um, do you learn like your cheers for the year when you go to cheer camp and then practice them or is it just like team building like stuff like that it's mostly team building and you work more on stunts than cheers but you do learn like some cheers but we already know like a list of cheers from the previous year so we don't really add like new ones so do you think it's beneficial for the younger girls to go to cheer camp or it doesn't really make a difference um for cheer wise the younger girls but stunting wise it helps us a lot it helps everybody a lot yeah well, that's good. Well, thank you for coming down today. And that was your Spring Ford Cheerleader of the Week, sponsored by Main Street Cafe. Um, just join us next week.